Right, mate. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and save it so we get up here. Go in here. Save it. And let's go down here. This woman has really irritated me. Thomas? Thomas? My uncle Abraham might be on the second floor now. Oh, Brill. Thank you. <laughs> no, but I heard somebody crashing around a few moments ago from somewhere below me. There is a way up to the attic through my father's rooms in the west wing. You should be able to reach me that way. Yeah, I'm simple. Yeah. With your lunatic My uncle chasing me. Man to be trifled with before. And now I am not sure he's a man at all. He's a brute, Thomas. I pray you be careful. Please take care, Thomas. Gotta go through there, all right? I reckon. There's nothing down there, so it's through here. That's locked. <sighs> Why, Elizabeth? Well, I'm writing this with a heavy heart, knowing that we have little time left together. Please know that I cherish and love you dearly. There is so much more I should, should have told you. This house and the watery depths by which it dwells are full of secrets. Many too terrible to be told, and I fear that I was complicit in them. I was a young girl, swept up in her fascination and adoration of your grandfather, father's hubris, by the promise of power and fame her discoveries afforded. If there is justice in this earthly realm, as they say, there is in the hereafter to come, I am paying the price I owe. My fervent wish is that you shall not pay for my sins too. 
There is so much more I should have done. My greatest regret is not having the strength to leave Scare Hotel. I have not taken you away from this place, for being so thoroughly caught up in its spell. It is a mistake I do not wish to repeat. Leave this place. Do not look back. Do not get seduced by its unheed song. Uh, my darling daughter, please do not weep for me, but know that I love you with all my heart and soul. My eternal love, Prudence. <coughs> yeah, tough boy there, pal. Jeez, this guy, man. <coughs> right. Yeah. Bastard. Right, so now I've got this arsehole chasing after me now. I haven't really used that yet, have I? I've been zapping with that a few times, I reckon. Right, so where do we go? Down here? What I need is a save room. Another one. Su Suogan, sleep child upon my bosom. It is cozy and warm. Ooh. Mother's arms are tight around you. A mother's love is in my breast. Nothing shall disturb your slumber. Nobody will do you harm. Sleep in peace, dear child. Sleep quietly on your mother's breast. Sleep peacefully tonight. Sleep gently, sleep. My lovely, why are you now smiling? Smiling gently in your sleep. Are angels above smiling on you? Are you smile as you smile cheerfully? Smiling back and sleeping. Sleeping quietly on my breast. Do not fear, it is nothing but a leaf beating, beating on the door. Do not fear, only a small wave. Murmurs, murmurs on the seashore. Sleep, child, there's nothing here, nothing to give you fright. Smile quietly in my bosom on the blessed angels yonder. Ooh, off the talk of bosoms. Ideally, I need a save room before this idiot starts chasing me. Right. Now what's there? What's in here? Elizabeth's counter song plan. My refusal to sing has frustrated my father. It has only delayed his plans. Playing the recordings of that creature's song by one of his mechanisms consumes him now. There must be some means to counteract it, to dull or cancel its influence. It's a melody or song that can act as a counterpoint, as a counter to it. 
I will need help, but how to go about it? The risk of the song getting out is too great. Perhaps if I were to split it into pieces, the same as my father has done with his recordings and approach four different composers, each with a part. But who to ask? My dearest Thomas, of course, but who else? Thomas, everyone's crossed out. Appears to be anything in here? No. Nope. Oh, there's a big hole in the roof. What happened there then? It's got one place to go. Hold on. Who's that there? Ah! Aha! Save room. Thank you. You have to be one somewhere. Time has run out. Father intends to use his grand harmonium, the machine he has devised tonight. To use the recorded song of that lamentable creature on the household and staff. A dress rehearsal for his grand reopening. One final test before... Oh, I'm not ready. I've tried to compose it myself. Tried until my fingers bled on the keys and my voice cracked. But at last, two composers of the countersong have arrived at the hotel. I must speak with them before the dress rehearsal. I can only pray that this will be enough. I could leave still, slip away. I've thought about it again and again in recent days, but that would only be condemning the others to my father's experiments. No. I must face our family's sins. And if I must, I shall pay the price. Oh, I wish it were not so. I wish I did not have to face this alone, as I fear my strength and resolve might fail. Thomas, where are you? I need you now more than ever, my love. I'm gonna get away from this kit now. Right, where am I going? Find the route. Uh Oh, I don't get bloody tired now. Uh, 
Right. Right. Can I come through here, any? Uh. So he comes down here. Yep, there he is. Go, go, go. Right, where are we going? Straight down there. Okay, they're going and save it quick. Right, let's save it. Right down there. Uh, ah, maybe one, two bit. Aha, uh -huh. Ah, back down there again. Looks like a T-Rex walking around. Boom, 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 boom. Some jungle drums. Yeah. That was bad. Not good, not good. Come on, get your breath, mate. You gotta. I love that. 
Where is he? Where's he gone? I'm staying there. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Right, you bitch. Thank you. Right. Okay. Oh, were you sod off? Elizabeth, are you there? Yes, I'm still here. I thought you were. I'm kind of busy. Just... Yeah. What was that? <laughs> what happened? I could hear the sound of. Wait, I thought I heard something here. Right, can I go now? Thank you. Hmm. That. That. I think we'll save it, definitely. Get in there yet, can I? Oh, I think he's back again. Oh, though. Oh, it's going man, he doesn't give up, does he? Morning Herald. Uh, Sunday morning, December the 16th. 
1894, 20 pages, one half penny. Family turmoil forces a steamed establishment, Scare Hotel, closes its doors due to the passing of the maid of Scare. Husband of Steam singer Prudence Williams closes Scare Hotel in South Wales. Isaac Williams, businessman and owner of Scare Hotel, refuses to accept any new residents into his hotel as his, as his mourns the loss of his beloved wife. Skir Hotel closes after only a decade of being open to the public. Its esteemed establishment is well reviewed by critics and host to a number of spectacular shows performed by deceased singer sensation the maid to scare Prudence Williams. She is survived by a young daughter, Elizabeth. Picture of Isaac Williams owner of Skir Hotel, South Wales. Oh, thank you. I'll have that. Hmm, May 2nd of October, 1897. Father has discovered my plans to counter his song. I have made steps to ensure that I can stop him, but he's planning to unleash it tonight at the rehearsal on the Grand Harmonium with the staff in attendance. I fear I am too late. I must try. I must try myself to stop him. I agreed to sing for my father in an attempt to stop his vile plan. Something went terribly wrong. I tried to sing what I could of the counter song the version I created, but it wasn't ready. I should have waited for Thomas and the others, but time was short. I fear I've made, made things worse. The look of Father's face when he knew what I was attempting frightened me. I've never seen him like that before. The song stung with the melody of the cylinders, set everyone mad. It was not the desired effect I had planned for. The staff started screaming and attacking each other. Father began to bleed from his ears and became unhinged. What, more unhinged than he is already? Uh, scribbling on the stairs in his own blood. What have I done? You created a bit of a fuck up, that's what you've done. Oh, that guy didn't come up here now. You sod off. I'm busy. Christ. You certainly tell he's coming. This one. One. Picked her with a fish. Three a third. Is a dog? Was the fish? Third, three. Two fish, dog, fish, dog, bird. Okay. Fish, dog, bird, cage. Fish, dog, bird, cage. Oh. All right. Don't look at me, monster.
day. I blocked myself in the attic and barricaded the door. The Grand Harbonium does not seem to have affected, afflicted me like the others. This all began with that creature sequestered beneath Scare Point. It has to be free, preventing it from harming anyone else. I must ensure I can get to the cavern safely without what were, what were my, fa my father's men from finding me. They are not sane men anymore. I'm not sure they're men. They're something. It's just dropped off, I'd say. Are you quite all right? Go on, kick him in the balls. Are oh, you too late? Should have given a good old kick. Oh, it's bust. Look for the senators and skip the hotel. Got one more to get, haven't I? Fourth of October, eighteen ninety-seven. I took a chance leaving the safety of the attic today. I have discovered my father has began doing unspeakable things, burning men's faces with no reasoning for it. I hear uncle beneath these floorboards, wandering the halls, searching for me. He has become a mindless giant. They have both sunk deeper into madness wearing their horrid ritual masks. It frightens me. Some guests have arrived early for the grand reopening. I try to warn them, but my father and uncle force this madness upon them. These poor people are now just as monstrous as my family. It's too horrible to describe. Ah, so all these faceless weirdos wandering around are all... Yes, and I guess this is them here. Don't look too good. I save it. Yeah. Hmm, who was that? Mythology. So, in Greek mythology, a siren is a creature, half bird, half woman, 
It will lead sailors to destruction by the sweetness of her song. Sirens are not the same as mermaids, but have been mistaken as the same throughout their ages. It is believed that in medieval times, sirens stopped being depicted as bird-like, the fish-like creatures, due to a confused interpretation by writers and artists. This has led over centuries to the true visual image of siren evolving and being widely depicted as a mermaid, which in Greek legend is not the case. Sirens are actually first documented in Homer's Odyssey in the 8th century BC, and later writers specified that sirens possess wings or that they have the heads of beautiful women and bodies of birds. Hmm. Interesting fact there. Sorry, mate. Just squeeze past you. I think this was where the... This is where the other uh, wheel was, was found. Remember from that map? The video on the wall? Ah. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and save it. Never know what shit's gonna happen. Save. Yes. Oops. Christ, I could have got you. I was there earlier, but I couldn't get past because the wooden box was in the way. I could have saved all that and just climbed over the wooden box. Saved myself a heck of a lot of time. Just look for the elevator. Oh, or not. Great. Room there. Oh. Oh, 
Go on, move on. Through the uh, left hand passage. Wait. Oh, great. People are a pain in the ass. Let's go straight ahead to that passageway. Let's go. Go, go, go. There's a head that's around the corner. The other side of there.
Oi! What happened here? Ooh. Yeah, nice. <laughs> it's Buster. Oh. Leave the dog alone, you bastards. Oh, here we go. That's coughing again. It's not that funny. That's a false laugh. <laughs> okay. No map. Oh, he's knocking everything over. It's a walking disaster area. <laughs> Bye, mate. That's the hanging. Oops. Nice. Bodies. <laughs> Camping your fall. Where are we going now?
cannot be done. At least not in time. I sit here, sit at these keys day after day, night after night, trying to compose some form of counterpoint, some form of countersong to the honeyed lament of that creature. And for what? Am I foolish to hope that this might work? That I can stop my father? One misstep, one false note on my part would be catastrophic. What such a mistake might unlock could be far worse than the siren's enchantments. But what choice do I have? I cannot turn my back on others or allow him to succeed. Without some form of counter, all of us, and many more, will be lost. 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 Run. Got to pull all these levers. Thomas, can you hear? You and then still when father's not playing. Pull four levers. And then you've got to come back here and pull that button each time you pull a lever to charge up those vials there. So go. Open. Pull. In the corner. Stop. Go away. Go on, bugger off. Right, go. Let's wait by here. Patience is the name of the game with this. Just don't move. And try not to stop inside a purple gas cloud. Well, I think it stopped a bit quicker then. Go, go, go. Right. We got. <clears throat> so let's read this while I'm waiting. I thought seeing that creature in the flesh did not affect me, but now I fear I am following the same path as my mother. Song sent and mad, I feel like I'm losing control of my thoughts. I will no longer be in control of my own mind. My hopes to stop this dreaded curse now lie with my beloved Thomas. I pray he can create what I've asked of him. Don't move. Don't move. Right, I think I've got one more. This one. Don't move. Don't move. That's the last one. That's it, I think. Grand Harmonium. Thomas, my love, come to me. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for you by the Grand Harmonium. Save it.
to the location of the uh, music uh, wheels, isn't it? What have I done? Save room, thank you. I'm to go down here and back out to the other hatch, I think. Stairs again, because I think there's another door to open. Hmm, it's all there on the right, I think. Come on! Give me a mouth! You utter stupid Oh man! That's a knob! Jesus Christ! You piss off!
stay tuned. <laughs> or not. Are there hidden rooms anywhere? We're ready for the big finale, I reckon. Thomas, my love, you're safe. Oh. I had to flee the attic. I've yeah. been hiding from them ever since. But we must hurry. Do you have the cylinders? Mm. Oh, I forgot them. Damn. Why wouldn't it let me do that? I don't trust you. What do I have to do to get that then? Then we cannot waste any time. Quickly, give them to me. We're going to get the bad ending here, aren't I? Thank yeah. you, Thomas. We're going to face change. There will be a place for you. you turncoat! Crank it up. Burning it. It's a bit cruel. Kill it for me. Huh. Oh, look, there he is. <laughs>
Oh, thank you. <laughs> From death and discord came new order through the iron will necessary to impose it. A new song was born from the darkness, and together they ruled the new dawn. <laughs> right. I think that was the bad ending. <laughs> there we go. So, made of skirt. That's uh, yeah, it's good. The uh, the um, holding your breath thing can get a bit irritating at times, so can't it? But uh, coughing. Coughing when you're uh, just about to get your throat ripped out, and then you cough in your head off. But uh, yeah, it's good. It's a challenge. It's quite tense. You just staring at the screen there and concentrating on what you're doing. But yeah, eight out of ten, I reckon, for that. Uh, it's good. So let me know what you think on that, guys, and uh, put your put your comments down below. And uh, don't forget, please, I would appreciate if you could like, like, and subscribe to my channel. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all again soon. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.